you have kind of resolved this with a tripod, which actually extends, so you can actually take pictures of your flat lay. Um, very simple and easy without you having to get on top of it. So this is called the 190 Go. And uh, with photography, um, obviously when you're out and about, you don't want to carry a really heavy tripod with you. So we've kind of developed a very compact, very light tripod that you can kind of just whack in your bag and it's, you know, simple and easy to use. These are twist locks, so they just twist open, very simple. And uh, what we've developed is a centre column, which flips over, which you can see here. So when you're using it as a normal tripod, you just have it standard with the ball head. The ball head's very, very easy to use. So what you do is just you literally unscrew and you can manoeuvre it wherever you want. So it's really handy if you want things flat, like facing downwards, if you want it facing upwards, you can do whatever you want. So it's very easy to kind of manipulate into different positions because a lot of the time you'll probably have it balancing on some books, <laughs> having it balancing on your wardrobe, that type of thing. And you know, sometimes you can't actually manipulate it into the right positioning. And it just ruins the shot sometimes and it's just a lot of effort. So we've developed something like this where you can actually just manoeuvre it into position, lock it off and you're ready to go. So with the centre column, when you are doing the flat lanes, you literally undo this, there's a little button underneath, <laughs> flip it open and then you just lock it into place. So it's just a really simple and easy tripod to use. Yeah, this, this collection is called Manhattan. So we've got our Windsor collection, our street collection with a camo green. And then we've got the Manhattan. And there's your third solution. Across the body. And tuck all these away. So these all these straps can be tucked away so it's nice and tidy. Apart from this, we just wing it all together. This is like imagine you're at home, you've got your books, you've got a new product or something to ride, you've got to quickly get online. Now thinking right, so whatever you've got in your house is a tool. Alright? You need a good tripod at the end of the day, you've got to hold your camera steady. If you're shooting on an iPhone or whatever or Samsung, you, again, you might want to put it on here, get it up online as quick as possible, make, make your site look better than everybody else's. So, there's a few little tricks. We've got this bit of paper at the back, but imagine if you're in a place, you've got no fabulous bar at the back, you've got nothing to work on, all you've got is a window in your house, or you've got a dark room with no window. We're doing this basically with two lights. This is, these lights could be your friends. One of these, I will get the mic around. This is the, yeah, the light, no, it's not the light, it's always gets well. It's the Illumina Muse, right? They're really powerful and they give a good light. We can actually get little adapters for these as well, which give different colours like tungsten, they've got all sorts of colour effects as well, all fits in and like a little diffuser as well. So they're brilliant. So you're trying to light something really quickly, thinking, right, okay, well, I'll fit this in. But, if you notice, as soon as we do things like this, you get hard lights. So the key to photography often is, is literally lighting. Now the <coughs> in a great location, good lighting, or good lighting. Well, so I'm just going to demo like a bit of everything. If you have questions at all, if I'm not explaining something, or I'm talking too fast, or I'm talking too much, or I'm talking about irrelevant things, just talk at me, guys. Can I get a big yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So enthusiastic! Let's try again. Yeah. yeah! The fact that Josie's the most enthusiastic and she's like annoying me, it's very sad, but I'm gonna let it go because I'm not very crazy. That's fine. Um, okay, so how should we start? Alright. I guess seeing as we're in such a nice little venue, we should like make the most of it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get to here. Yeah, we're not going to put you in here this time, we're actually going to get you in. I just really like these books, they kind of look fake, but I'm sure we see them take them out. I know there was a pile of them, they're real, they're fake. Okay. Was there a book? Oh, there's a book. Let's, let's get you reading a book. She, she had this really cool outfit on that was super edgy fashion, but I was like, this is just very, it's very like, sophisticated, you know? Maybe let's um, have you come out a little bit, let's move this table. I'm, I'm going to need assistance as well, so. Not just to lift tables, but to actually light. So, step up to the plate, please. Not Manfrotto stuff, sorry. <laughs> Come on. Don't be shy. Who is it going to be? Otherwise, I'm going to pick you. Oh, thank you. What's your name? Sophia. Sophia! Yeah. Okay, so Sophia, do you want to, um, you're going to grab a light. Okay, so this. So this, 
um, as Eddie was using, uh, is a Lycos panel, which is an LED light. It's continuous. Okay, so I'm thinking, because we've got this light here, I'm going to actually move you round. So maybe, let's, uh, let's get you round to this side. Let's see. See, this is why I like working with continuous light. You can see exactly what's happening on the face, where the shadows are. Um, so turn it off for a second, just so we can see. Oh, there you go. She's smart. Then mm -hmm. we should just point it away. So um, let's put it on the lowest uh, power first, so we can just like build it up slightly. Okay, right. Now let's point at her, and um, and then just like really slowly increase the power, so you can see. So yeah. So can you see how if you go back down, <coughs> you can even balance the, the amount of light that is coming from the room and what's coming from here, or you can choose to overpower it and make that your key light. So that that's your main source of light, and this is the film. <gasps> Everyone's my little sister. Say hi. <laughs> Today is Tuesday, um, excuse the harsh lighting, it's really really like dark and cloudy outside so the lighting inside is absolutely awful but this week I am off all week so I thought I would kind of incorporate this week into a vlog including the Mafroto event I went to on Saturday. I don't think I got much chance to speak to you guys before because I was rushing to get the train um, but I went to a man photo event on Saturday in Manchester, which was amazing. I already used the man photo like mini, I think it's called the pixie tripod for this vlogging camera because it basically helps steady my hand and you don't get like an up close shot like here. Um, but I am obsessed with them and I'm actually thinking of upgrading my tripod for my DSLR for when like, I'm filming and taking pictures because it's sadly coming to the end of its life I think um, because it fell when I was taking pictures the other day and almost fell like lens first um, with my DSLR on it so I had a heart attack as you can imagine but I took Sam along with me and we had such a fun time and then we went into Manchester and basically had a look around, got a couple of Christmas presents, got some food because Sam wanted to get Taco Bell because they have Taco Bell in, I think it was the Arndale Centre, the big shopping centre in town. Um, they have Taco Bell there so she got some and I am officially addicted because it's all the things I like, <laughs> um, surprisingly. But I didn't realise like I knew Liverpool was busy but and like the say for instance St John's Market their food court is busy but I didn't know how busy until I got to Manchester. <laughs> that is like next level busy. Today I'm actually off to meet one of the girls who used to work at my work um, and she's sadly, she was one of my good friends in work and she has left me to go to AMU. So... I am, I've been abandoned, so I agreed to meet her for brunch. So we're going to the Mad Hatter's Tea Room in Chester, which I thought would be really, really fun, so I thought I'd bring you guys along. Um, but yeah, not much else to say. I'm just wearing my Asta jumper because it's so, so cosy. I'm just wearing skinny jeans, and I don't really think you could see them very well. These, like, converse style shoes from Primark. But they're like a... Um, iridescent I like an iridescent I think it is where like like a bit like petrol where you look it's one colour then it's another then it's another and then I'm also gonna wear a bubble hat because I'm so excited because it's cold I can wear bubble hats again I am all done with meeting my friend Emily for breakfast. We went to the lovely Mad Hatter's Tea Room, um, which was absolutely delicious for food. Um, I didn't film it, but I think I'm gonna put a picture on Instagram. Um, and I had the best French toast that I've had in a long time. And I am someone that doesn't eat breakfast food, which is a lot 
coming from me <laughs> but we have had a good walk around Chester and um, I had my hands full of shopping bags as you can imagine I'm now just trying to sat now at home because I am awful with finding my way back and I don't think my sat now is going to work but I picked up quite a few bits I picked up some more Christmas presents, um, some bits from Lush. What else did I pick up? <laughs> picked up bits from Lush. Um, some other little bits. Um, so we had such a lovely time um, in Chester today with my friend Emily. She's just moved there and um, she left my work. So I no longer have her as a work buddy. So she'll just be my buddy buddy anyway. But we had the most delicious In brunch yards, from Mad Hatter's Tea Room. And uh, the French toast there is incredible. Like I got some of the French toast at a mocha and it was so good. And then we did a bunch of Christmas shopping, spent way too much money. Um, and I picked up some decorative blog props ready for Christmas because I think I'm going to start shooting my Christmas. I have planned to get all my Christmas shopping done, which I actually think I have bought everything. I'm just waiting for it to come. Um, the only thing I need to get are three main presents for my mum, my little brother and my mum's partner. Um, other than that, I am completely done, which I'm so excited for. But, as Sam said the other day, I am not the type of person that can be completely done in November as much as I try. I will no doubt end up going shopping and think, oh, that would be perfect for, I don't know, Sam and buy it for Sam. I am awful with that and I think I actually did it last year as well. So, we shall see. I excitingly am also photographing and filming my blog post on the advent calendars, the beauty advent calendars or non, I think it's all beauty at the moment. So there is, oh no actually one's a tea one. So I was just going to call it the non chocolate advent calendars because not all of them are beauty. I've got pretty much a lot of beauty ones and then I have the Bluebird Tea Company's tea advent calendar which is incredible and if you are a tea drinker or a tea addict like me you will be obsessed and then there was a coffee one I think I was supposed to be getting but it's not arrived yet and also like a protein bar slash ball one I was supposed to get um, and it's they said they were sending them out I think in November but I've not heard anything and I've tried emailing the people and I've not heard anything so I presume I'm just not getting it um, but excitingly I got an invite to I think it said it was heavenly desserts in Liverpool which is like a tea dessert Sunday place which will be very exciting and that is next week um, so I'm gonna gonna go to that Hello lovelies, today is Sunday the 12th of November now um, and today is going to be my last day of vlogging as you can tell and hear and probably see I got sick a couple of days ago so I am still suffering so I sound awful, I've got a really snotty nose and I've had to put my glasses on just so I can see properly um, but we're going to head out to get some food shopping today and I think my mum wants to get one of those cheese advent calendars from Asda um, so yeah <laughs> I'm so tired 
and I think I'm going to come back, get some work done, get some washing done and have a bubble bath and an early night because I'm supposed to be filming a video or at least taking some blog photos tomorrow. <clears throat> the video might have to be pushed back to Wednesday. Um, so yeah, I need a good night's rest to try and get rid of whatever this is. So I am dosing up on some cherry menthol sweets and I have my tissues and I'm going to get going so I can get back and get some sleep. Who's that good boy? Yeah. You go outside. Where are we going? <laughs> okay, so. mm -hmm. See you later. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh. You try to go up. Oh, oh, stop. <laughs> Didn't care for them. Mm -hmm. Are you coming shopping? What do you think of your toffee latte then? It's alright I suppose, the toffee was lovely. <laughs> so we just stopped to get a coffee before I sit in the car when my mum nips into us to wait. Um, and we tried out, I decided to try one of the spiced cookie lattes which is actually quite tasty and you got the toffee, the toffee not a toffee? Toffee latte. Which my mum's not a big coffee drinker. And you think it's okay? Not too bad. Yeah, the toffee and the cream was nice. <laughs> <laughs> I get to the coffee. Just not the coffee bit's nice. <laughs> so a toffee hot chocolate would have been better. Yes. We all are all done at Asda now. I didn't take you guys in mainly because, as you can tell. <coughs> I'm struggling quite badly with my chest. Um, as an asthmatic, it's quite bad if I get any like colds, coughs, anything like that. Because as you can tell, right now I can't breathe properly, um, and that's just from walking up to the car, not even talking to anyone, just walking up to the car and putting the shopping in the boot. And it wasn't even in big heavy bags, it was individual items into the boot. So we tried and asked her to get the cheese advent calendar and couldn't. So we're going to go to Ireland and get the rest of the shopping. So I'm going to leave this weekly vlog here mainly because I sound like this, I sound horrible and I can barely keep my eyes open. Um, <coughs> this cold or whatever I've got has well and tru truly done me in. I feel exhausted this week and I'm gutted because I took this week off to get all my Christmas shopping done and to start pre-writing my Christmas content. And so far, I have planned all my Christmas content, but I have only pre-written. I've still got one, two, two and a half more blog posts to write for November. And then I've got all my Christmas ones, which are 25 before Christmas and then two after, three after Christmas. So... 28 blog posts to write in December as well as 25 vlogs and YouTube videos alongside my main channel videos because I am still going to put those up um, I think I think I am <clears throat> so far I'm planning to put my sit down videos up but I'm going to do like I did in October and the days when I'm in work, particularly if I'm on a long day, I've got a week of 
long days so there will be three definite sit down videos for those days um because obviously i can't film when i'm in work but the rest of december and over christmas i'm on nights so i can potentially film vlogs but they won't be very good vlogs they'll be like a couple of hours and probably be me just completely exhausted but yeah <laughs> So I'm going to go because I want to try, I'm up early, it's half nine and I've eaten breakfast and I'm going to try and get a bunch of writing done. I did really well yesterday and got two written yesterday so I'm going to try and get November finished and then start on December and then I'm going to take some photos after lunch. Um, I'm going to take some vlog photos. Hello, hello, come here. The doggy has joined me. Excuse the mop bucket. Yes, you have. Excuse the mop bucket. <laughs> we have nowhere else to put it. Are you debating whether to go outside or come and say hello? Or get food? You're at a pivotal You're at a pivotal point there, my friend. Yes, I can see that tail going in the shadows. Are you coming over then? Come here then. Come here then. <laughs> Do you want me to get up and let you out? Oh, you coming to join me? You coming to join me? No, come here. Oh. Yeah, so I'm gonna go now and edit this vlog, try and get some content written, um, cause I can obviously write some in December, but I kinda don't want December just to be filled with, I didn't mind it in October, but I don't want December just to be filled with me sat at my computer writing because um, obviously I'm going to be spending a large amount of time editing um, I want most of it to be spending time doing Christmassy things because I love Christmas um, so I'm going to go do this and then I'm going to have a good soak in the bath because everything hurts my lips hurt, they're just all cracked no matter what I do that's the worst part for me of being ill is having like the sore cracked lips because I always get them. So I'm going to get some content written, have a bubble bath and then start taking some pictures because I have at least four posts I can take pictures for right now. Um, probably potentially more actually. But yeah, I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog. It was very bitty is the only word. It was a very crap weekly vlog, but I will see you next week. Bye guys.